guys welcome back to eat east indian channel and today we are preparing a super delicious indian sweet called kele ki barfi now we are going to make this along with dates so this is khajur and kele ki barfi it's like almost like a bar it's super delicious really healthy vegan gluten free easy to make perfect as a breakfast bar or you can enjoy it with a cup of tea anytime during your day so let's head in the kitchen and begin cooking for our recipe today we will use 2 to 3 tablespoons of coconut oil allow it to melt in a pan you can skip the coconut oil and work without oil in the recipe add in dry fruit of your choice i'm using cashews pecans walnuts and almonds we'll stir them in let them roast after about 2 3 minutes when they start to become darker in color we'll add in char magas that's seeds of a cantaloupe they have lots of nutritional value if you don't have them you can buy them from a store or make your own or even skip them next add unsweetened dried coconut shredded mix it well after another two three minutes flavor your mixture with cardamom powder so simply take a green cardamom take the seeds out crush them add this powder in cinnamon lends a great flavor after combining these spices, we will take 200 grams of dates and you will simply chop them up. And then add your chopped dates into the mixture. Combine the dates well and then last but not least, add your mashed bananas. We want to allow bananas to melt down a little bit, almost caramelization needs to be happening here. Once bananas are well combined with other components, while the mixture is still warm, pour it on a plate in a pan, another pan. My baking tray was lined with parchment paper. I have poured the mixture, smooth it out evenly and then let it chill for about two hours once it has cooled down. And when it's chilled completely, you can cut it into bite-sized pieces and serve it to your guests or store it in an airtight container and enjoy it as a breakfast every morning. Hope you like this recipe. Give it a try. You will not be disappointed. And I will see you again with another tasty recipe again. So stay tuned to Eat East Indian channel.